Hi, this is Dr. Dave, and today I want to show you how to do amortization in the form of actually finding the payment on a loan. This is the kind of loan that you might use uh, to buy a car or to buy a house or something uh, where you're going to be making payments on it uh, using compound interest. So what you see in front of you is a formula. And on the left-hand side is a formula we should be familiar with. It's the compound interest formula, the one in blue. On the right is one in green. That one should also be familiar to you. That is our ordinary annuity formula. So the right-hand side is what you would do is if you were trying to find the future value with a bunch of payments. What's on the left-hand side in blue would be the future value if you make one lump sum amount you you put in the bank or you borrow and then you pay interest on that over time so the way to think about that is when the lender gives you money they're going to give you a lump sum and they're going to expect interest back in a certain period of time so the future value of that is what they want back now from your perspective you want to pay back the amount borrowed with the interest by making payments and so that's kind of like an annuity by setting these two things equal to each other, you're essentially saying the lump sum, what it amounts to with compound interest, is you're going to pay it in monthly or weekly or quarterly payments, however that's set up. So let's use this to, to uh, find the answer to the problem below. So it says, find the payment necessary to amortize a loan of $25,000 at an interest rate of 8.4% compounded quarterly in 24 quarterly payments. So basically what we're going to do here is we're going to find the R value. That's the payment. So let's go ahead and put in the different numbers here. So in our case, the lump sum that we're getting here is the 25,000. So we're going to say 25,000 times 1 plus the interest rate per period. Since this is compounded quarterly, at 8.4, the eight interest rate per period is going to be 0 0.084 divided by 4. And we're going to do this for 24 quarterly payments. So our N is 24. So this is going to be a six-year loan, essentially. We're going to go ahead and find the payment. So we're going to solve for R. And we're going to go ahead and say 1 plus 0 0.084 over 4, our quarterly payments. We're going to make 24 payments. And then on the bottom, we're going to put 0 0.084 over 4. And those are set equal, and they're going to allow us to solve for R. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to work out the part in blue on my calculator. I'm going to work out the part in green in the brackets. I'm going to write those things down, and then I'm going to go ahead and divide to get the R. Let me turn on my calculator. So we're going to do the blue part, so 25,000 parentheses 1 plus 0 0.084 divided by 4, and the parentheses raised to the 24th power. So remember, that's our $25,000 loan. We're going to be paying it back at 8.4% annually, divided by 4 to get the interest rate for per period, and then we're going to do 24 payments. What we're going to end up paying back is $41,167.8 5, 1, 4. Now we're going to go over and work out that other side. And we're going to get a value for that. So I'm going to write it, type it in as parentheses. This is a parentheses for the entire top. So kind of the way I'm going to be doing this is I'm going to use parentheses around the top and around the bottom. Parentheses 1 plus 0 0.084 divided by 4 and the parentheses raised to the 24th now minus 1 another set of parentheses that groups the entire top 
Now I'm going to divide by parentheses 0 0.084 divided by 4 and the parentheses. So that groups everything on the bottom. Press enter and what I get is 30.79 five eight three eight three seven I'm going to be careful to keep all these decimal places because if I change and start rounding things that could cause some problems so in order to get the R I'm going to divide both sides by thirty point seven nine five eight three eight three seven And so that will give me my R value. Now, I've got that 30.37 with all those decimals in the calculator already. So let me type 41167.81514. That was the number that we had before. I'm going to check to make sure I've got all that correct. And I'm going to divide that by second answer. That way I don't have to type in that 30 with all the decimal points. Press enter and I get a payment here of 1336, so 1336. I'm going to round this to the nearest penny, so 0 0.80. A lot of your homework systems will go ahead and always round to the nearest penny, but the reality is in most loans they're going to round up to the nearest penny so you're giving them a little bit too much each time and then when you get to your final payment they'll say oh call us for your final payoff amount and then they'll build in the fact that you've given them a little bit too much money on every payment and that'll usually make your last payment a few pennies less